Hello and welcome back to another video here with me, Mioni. This time we're looking at the second item that took me a very long time to actually farm a gill for, which is the Fallen Angel Wings, which is the one of the two items added into the game as a basically eventual uh, rewards that you can get with Bicolor Gemstone tickets, which are available once you have finished all of the maximum ranks for all of the Endwalker zones by Color Gemstone rewards. As I will demonstrate here, if you look at the shared fate section under the travel section, you will have access to this window where you're able to track your ranks. Once you have rank three in every single area, uh, essentially in two of the areas in the game, so you've got both Old Charlian, that by Color Gemstone vendor, as well as Rad's at Han, both of those vendors will sell you bicolor gemstone tickets, which you use bicolor gemstones to actually purchase. The bicolor gemstone tickets themselves are then tradable on the market board to other players, and that's one way of getting them. You need to actually get 500 bicolor gemstone tickets for one of the eventual rewards, one of two rewards. The mount we have previously looked at in another video, and this time we're going to be looking at the fallen angel wings. So that's how you do that. So you can buy the Bicolor Gemstone tickets from other players, or you can exchange Bicolor Gemstones after grinding yourself through various fates in these zones and um, you know save up, essentially. Or you can straight up purchase the reward itself, the actual Fallen Angel Wings, as you can see here in my inventory, with Gil, which is what I decided to do. I did end up actually selling Bicolor Gemstone tickets myself to be able to actually afford uh, this over time. So uh, I thought this would be a good way of demonstrating uh, that there are like three ways you can get this essentially. You can grind it yourself completely without the use of other people. You can straight up buy the item from the market board or you can buy 500 of the bicolor, uh, bicolor gemstone tickets. I will warn you though, the eventual price of this in gil was effectively 60 million gil. That's quite an expensive fashion accessory, so you might want to consider uh, if you really want this or not. If you're going the bicolor gemstone route with the bicolor gemstone tickets and you have saved up 500 of those, uh, exchanging your bicolor gemstones for those tickets, like I say, at the two major cities, both Old Charlian and Old Favnir, uh, and Favnir rather, not Old Favnir. Then you can come over here to Mordona, and this is obviously X22.1, Y4.8, which is where Rowena hangs out in the back here. And there's Edelina, the luxury trader. If you talk to her, you can actually trade your bicolor gemstone tickets here, 500 of them, for either the Wyvra Horn, which is, uh, uh, we've already done a video on that. There'll be a link in the description to that mount. And of course, the Fallen Angel Wings, which is what we have acquired today. But like I say, I found it cheaper to go with just straight up purchasing the item rather than purchasing the Bicolor Gemstones, uh, the, the vouchers, sorry. But of course, depending on your data center and your own sort of time of which you look at this, sometimes the actual item might be cheaper than the gemstone vouchers and vice versa but yes of course a lot of people will want to grind this themselves so simply once you have these in your inventory like any other fashion accessory you use them there goes 60 million gil <laughs> and then you'll find this in uh, the um the section where fashion accessories are which i always forget yeah character so it's on the main commands character section fashion accessories and inside here you will see a bunch of them that I've collected and there's the fallen angel wings and it says spread angel wings blacker than your heart in brackets or so you will doubtless say so we're going to plop these on our bar we're just going to plop those there and also once we're here let's plop the other normal angel wings on here as well so you get a good demonstration of the differences but I can assure you it is just simply cosmetic differences uh, it's not very well lit in here, but we'll summon, uh, first of all, the normal angel wings, which you can see, nice and white, yeah, and then let's summon our black angel wings, the fallen angel wings, as you can see here, which are a beautiful jet black color. Uh, I am actually wearing jet black dye in this particular outfit, so essentially, this will give you a fair representation of what the colors look like 
We'll look at this in a better lit area in a moment. Of course, if you have weapons on the back of your character, those will clip into the wings and look awful, like these do on my Sage. But of course, we can hide our weapon. There we go. And it looks pretty good. I'm actually really pleased with these. These are an incredibly expensive fashion accessory. They are definitely a piece of bling and a piece of bragging rights or more of like, look at how much gill I have sort of and how much I've spent on these things. That's basically what this is at the end of the day. Um, but I do like the fact that they are a solid jet black color. They could have, of course, gone with a soot black or a much more pitted color and I would have been less impressed and they obviously do suit the more moody characters. So if you've always had the idea of having, you know, sort of like, even though there's two of them, like Sephiroth wings, then obviously, you know, this is gonna be right up your alley if you're that sort of dark, moody character. And as we move our character around, actually, that's a good point. You'll see that they are pretty much as, you know, non-animated as the white ones and any of the other angel wings. Um, however, you will note that when you jump, they of course do extend and flap, uh, much like the other angel wings already in the game, including the archangel wings, which are of course from the treasure map dungeons and the white ones as well. But yeah, personally, I'm not a massive fan of um, the way that the wings look as when just walking around or running. They kind of just look like they're stuck on as an actual fashion accessory rather than actually having wings coming out the back of your character. But it is what it is, right? You're never going to get fully animated wings. What I would like to see maybe in the future, though, is perhaps they could add some spell effects to certain wings that they might add, or even retroactively to these, where you have, like, falling feathers or something. That would be really cool. Or, obviously, the key thing that on everybody's mind is, why can when, when can we have one black and one white wing, and when can we just have one wing on its own so we can be the one-winged angel, which... Obviously, we'll um, make everybody happy, everybody who ever wants to be Sephiroth. I think these are beautiful, though. What do you think? You know, 60 million gil. Is this worth it to you? Have you ever seen 60 million gil on your character? It took me a very long time to acquire, acquire that much gil. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, if you basically just play the auction house, well, sorry, the market board long enough, eventually... You do end up getting enough but that's the reason why this video has taken so long because unlike a lot of people on youtube that look at things i do take the time to actually grind out these things or to grind out the gill to actually get these on my character i don't use third party tools to demonstrate things um which i have seen in other videos but you know it's just what i like to do i don't like to um you know invalidate that terms of service or anything but yeah I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I did promise we'd look in a slightly more well-lit place. I mean, at this point, the only place I can think of, since we don't have control over day-night, would be to go into Explorer mode. And we'll have a look, let's see, at a dungeon in Endwalker. Where's nice and bright? I'm trying to think of somewhere that's nice and bright, actually. Ah, yes. Kistis Hyperborea. That's a great example. So we'll just zone into here. We should be able to use the fashion accessories, I think. I think we can. Pretty sure we can. Yes, we can. Okay, good. And um, we'll go into the light since it's nice and day inside here. But it looks of it. Over here in uh, obviously Elpis. And um, there won't be any monsters to trouble us in the process. But yeah, I think that they're not the most fluid thing in the universe. They are obviously a lot more fluid if I just hop around. But they do look pretty badass. And when you see somebody with these. At least now you'll realize that that person has thrown away a lot of their gill or a lot of their time. Bear in mind how long it would take to actually get those um, bicolor gemstone tickets. It's not exactly the easiest thing in the world. That looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? I think these are absolutely wonderful. And yes, they are just the same wings but black, but it's all about that blending, isn't it, of your character. And they actually suit this outfit really well as well. Beautiful. I like how the light isn't really reflecting too much, but there is a bit of shine, almost like oil on the feathers. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Anyway, what do you think? I think these are wonderful. I'm not going to keep going on about them, but uh, I did want to include them eventually in a video, and there we go. We've completed both of the big grinds, either through Gil or through the gemstone tickets, from this particular thing. I've, I do hope they add more stuff 
to buy color gemstone tickets into the future because that's going to put more of those tickets available into the market there will be a cutoff point where people will just stop grinding fates um you know as much as they do and uh, obviously the price of those things will go up skyrocket even more than 60 million probably into the hundreds of millions but um, it is a healthy market at a minute if you want to get involved in this and grinding out some of these uh, might be worthwhile if you want to save up some gill that's one of the ways that i am making gill myself on the market board anyway much love enjoy the rest of your day go get yourself some angel wings today if you can afford them if you like this obviously there's more videos on the channel and i'll see you all next time bye bye awesome i think these are brilliant now we just need one wing black and one wing white and then a mazamune and i think we're good for the future <laughs> oh dear final fantasy 7 crossover when oh man hopefully hopefully one day